begin with the first question how are the following codes different from one another in the first code as you can see one file is opened by using open method it is opened in read mode and with the help of read function is reading the file in this case it will read the entire file in a second case the file is opened in read mode but here we have passed 100 as argument in read function that means it will read the first 100 characters of the file the next question is consider the file poem bth.txt which contains a poem which goes like this god made till sages then what output will be produced by both the code fragments given in question one in a first question the file is opened in reading mode and the file is read by using read method the content of the file is stored in a string variable called str and now it is printing that variable str the output is the entire content of the file will be printed in this case also the same file is opened by in read mode and uh, within the read method we have passed 100 as argument that means it will read only 100 characters from the file and it's stored in a variable called str1 and now it is printing str1 and it will contain this much that means the first 100 characters of the file the next question is consider the same file poem bth.txt and what output will be produced by the following code fragment now let's see the code here the file is opened in read mode and uh, it is referring to one object obj1 then uh, we have called a method called read line and storing the output in a variable called s1 so s1 will store the first line that is read from the file that means this method will read the first line and now the pointer will point to the next line now s2 is equal to obj1 dot read line of 10 now it will read 10 characters uh, but where the pointer has stopped earlier from there it will start reading the 10 characters now s3 is equal to obj1 dot read 15 now it will read next 15 characters from where the pointer has stopped earlier now if you print s3 then you can see the output as it is showing now again it is showing print obj1 dot read line now this read line method will start reading from where it has stopped earlier and it will continue till the line ends now the output is like this now consider the file poem bts.txt and predict the outputs of following code fragments if the file has been opened in file pointer file 1 with code file 1 is equal to open file name and r plus consider the code fragments in succession that is code a for code B follows code A and so on. Now in this program, the file poem bts.txt is opened in read mode. And we have to do some series of operations as given in a program. The option A, B, C, D, E and all has to be done in a sequence. That means A will be done first, then B, then C. Like this, that means whatever changes made in our first code will remain intact for the second code but here actually we have to keep the first code in comment so that the other codes can execute why because in our first code it is file one dot read method is executed that means it will read the entire file now when it, it will come to print b part of the program that is file one dot read line then there will be nothing to read why because the entire file will already have been read and the pointer will be pointing to the last of the file to the end of the file so it is not possible to proceed further so we have to keep the first one in comment so we have kept the code a in comment so that the other codes can execute so as you know the first code will give the output as the entire content of the file and the second one we output to it will print file one dot read line that means it will print the first line the second third one c1 is file one dot read nine it will read nine characters from where it has stopped earlier like this it will continue 
So read lines method will read the entire file in a list of strings where each line is stored as one string. So now let's see the output. So as you can see the output of B code B is God made the earth and output of code C is man made. Output of code D is confining and output of code E so all the read line function is called. So rest of the lines are read and the content is stored in a form of string. The next question is what the following code is doing. You can see the code is like this one file context.csv is open in append mode and one variable name is there which will accept the entered name and another variable phone number which will store the phone number that is entered. Now these two data that is name and phone number will be written into the file by using file.write method. So this code will open the file in append mode context.csv one new file will be created and it will be open in append mode and uh, it will write the data that is entered by the user at the end of the file. Once we'll run the program it will ask for name suppose we have passed the name as Samarth and the phone number also it is asking and we have passed one phone number. Now these two values will be written into the file contacts.csv that once we'll open the file then you can see the content is like this. The next program is to write code to open file created in previous question and print it in the following form name and phone number. Now we'll open the existing file contacts.csv in read mode and by using the method read method we will read the file and store the content of the file in a variable called s. Now to separate the name and phone number we have used a split function so which will be applied on the content s dot split and the value should be stored in a list variable called lst. So split the comma separated words and store it in a list lst will be done by this method. Now we will print the first value of list that is name as lst of 0 and the second value is lst of 1 is phone number. So the output is showing like this name colon whatever name we have passed and then phone number. Now consider the file contacts.csv created in above question and figure out what the following code is trying to do. Now the code is like this one variable name is there where the name entered is stored and another file contacts.csv is opened in read mode. Now for line in file if name in line print line. Now this code is actually checking whether the name that is accepted by the user or entered by the user is present in the file or not. So it is checking the file line by line and at each line it is searching for the name and if that particular name is present in that line then it will print that line. So once we run the program, it will ask for the name. Let's say the name is Samarth and it is searching for the line where the name Samarth is present. Once it will find that line, it will print the entire data of that line. Now consider the file point pth.txt and predict the output of the following code fragment. What exactly it is doing? Now the code fragment is like this. It is opening the file in read mode and n1 is a variable initialized with 0 for line in f n1 plus equal to 1 print n1. So this code is reading the file and counting the number of lines present in it. n1 is the variable which is storing the number of lines present in the file which is initialized with 0 and uh, with the help of the for loop it is reading the file line by line and every time the variable n1 is increased by 1. So if you run the code then you can get the output at 7. Now if you use the code of question number 8 with p1.txt create and solve problem 14 what would be its output? You can see the output will be 1 as there is only one line of text is present in the file p1.txt. Now question number 10 write a method in python to 
read the content from a text file diary.txt line by line and display the same on the screen. Now we have uh, defined a method over here. Let's say the name of the method is read underscore line and it is taking one file object as its parameter and within the definition of the function it is reading the file line by line and it is printing that line. And here instead of diary.txt, I have taken one existing file in my system that is poem.txt and I have opened in read mode. You can create your own file diary.txt and you can open it in read mode. And finally, I have called the method read line, the read underscore line by passing the file object as its parameter. And you can see the output, the content of the file poem.txt is read and it is displayed. Okay. The next question is to write a method in Python to write multiple line of text contents into a text file, myfile.txt.line. So here I have defined a method, write underscore file. Here we have passed the file object as its uh, argument. And here I have called a function, write function. Within that I have passed multiple lines of content. Now. I have finally have created one file object that is my life.txt.line uh, that is open in the write mode and I have called the write file method and have passed the file object as its parameter so that the write file function will be called and as per the definition of the write file method the content that I have specified here that will be written to this particular file. Now once you'll open that uh, file mylife.txt.line, the content of the file will be like this, whatever I passed in the method, the, those are stored or written in that particular file in this form. Now here ends the solution of chapter five, all the type B questions we had discussed over here. And if there is any doubt, you can put it in comment section. Uh, in the next video, we will discuss all the type B questions of the rest of the chapters and stay tuned for more solutions and do subscribe to get notified. Thank you.